be well over 100, 100 viewers for this match. 16 is not going to cut it. Come on, guys. Let's get it out there. You guys got to be happy with the sound. Seems like everything is uh, nice and crisp, finally. Also, uh, thanks to Jameson Daniels, I do have a extra camera here that works just as good as my main feature camera now. Thank you very much. And here's the lag. This is a winner's bracket match. We are doing a race to seven on both sides today until the finals. And TK uh, is doing his thing already. What a nice lag that was. right. I heard that a little too. Yeah, it's a real cool. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It really is. Yeah. We don't go over every single rule in the tournament, but everybody should know the pump rule. <laughs> TK's got the break. Rock number I sent the tour. Yeah, I saw that video last night when we got to the hotel room. Yep, there's the break. Sound it good? Doesn't look all that great. Got some balls clustered right down there by the rocking area, so must have been a ball or two loose. When he comes up, Donnie Mill comes up with a super sharp cut on the one. Lucky for him, the two balls down table, so he has a very good chance of cutting this ball in and just drifting back up table. He doesn't like it. He's going safe all the way. I don't know about that one. I think this ball will come out just enough for uh, Tommy Kennedy to shoot it. Very tough to see with that angle. But I do believe he's got a shot on this one ball straight in. He's looking at the cluster in the tail. He gets the right angle on the two to bust that up. I don't think the three ball goes anywhere. Looks like it's married right up behind the nine ball. Wow. Yeah, that could have came out a little better for him.
That's about as good as to be expected right there. Four, go, four ball goes past the ten ball, so he's, he's looking at the line. He's still got his work cut out for him. I think he needs to just make the four past the ten and kind of drift to the rail with it. Be able to shoot the nine or the five. Or the three ball just went in at. Let's see what he's got here. Well, that's some pretty precise uh, positioning there. Didn't get much benefit out of running into the five ball right there. Ball on the 10. Take the first game of this match. Nice shot by TK. Takes the first rocket of this match. Race to seven. This is a winner's bracket match. I'm to give you guys a little bit more sound here. Awfully quiet in here this morning.
Bobby G, what's happening? I had to finish my lunch. Good morning to you. Morning, good morning, Hollywood. Pool players Getting morning. Along. Pool players morning, bright and early now. <laughs> bright and early for me, for sure. This daylight stuff, I tell you what. It's tough to get used to. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. All right. Looks like we got one nothing. I think Donnie with a nice shot. Hit a little too hard, though. I think he could still catch the edge of that to cut it into the corner. <clears throat> Guys, let me know if you can hear me. I'm trying to talk low because it's so quiet in here today. I don't want to disrupt the players. Hello, Doris. How you doing? Yeah, you could. It was a good save. Cut the five over two rails right up in behind the eight ball. Yeah. I think um, I'll try to get Janine to post the brackets to online for you guys. Actually, I'll go ahead and try to do that right now. Oh, I did see a little there bit you go. It's on the um, It's on the Florida tournament chase, so I'll go ahead and pull that off of there, and I'll put it into the comment for you. Right on. Appreciate it. What's up? Good morning, Lisa. How goes it? Doors. Good to see you online again. Tom. We got TK. We also have uh, waiting the other winners bracket matches to be Antonio versus Cal Bova. Those are your four and one. Pudo playing from the uh, lumber right now. Jose Lita is waiting. Oh, who is to play? Uh, what's that? Oh, he just posted it. And uh, it uh, Jose Lita is to play. Anthony Fisher, and the one long side. So we have four on each side. Thank you, Landon, for sharing that. I looks like I was a little bit too slow, but I appreciate it. The bracket is in the comments section there. Right, pretty good here. Appreciate it, guys. Thank you very much. All right, guys. We got about 50 viewers. Thank you. We appreciate that. Um, anybody can like, share. Um, greatly appreciate it. And also, we are accepting donations today. Wow. Got to post his work on that one. Yes, he did. He needs to get a set of enough. wheels on it's it. He needs to get moving. Side. needs to get moving. Oh, that's about to Yep. Ugly stream back cut. You know, I was going to say something before he shot that about getting down on the 50 yard line, but I didn't want to jinx him. Yeah, right. <laughs> there you go. Got it. Good shot. Nice shot by Donnie Mills. Good shot. Two Tied good shots in a row. Yep, two in a row. One to one. one. Like uh, Jenny said, don't forget about the donations. Somebody's going to win a very nice, brand new Predator 2x2 pool case. Among other things that you have to choose from. So it's going to be lots of winners today. We'll be doing that just before the uh, just before the finals of the last match of the 10-ball event. You guys see my Cash App ID and the uh, sell. Anything and everything is greatly appreciated. Jameson Daniels, we did get your tickets in, so I'm sure we'll be pulling one of yours. It's a lot of tickets. Don't 
don't forget about our next event. We'll be posting registration online starting tomorrow, July 31st, August 1st, Strokers Billiards, Palm Harbor, Florida. It's a thousand dollar added amateur nine ball event. We will fill up really quick, like we always do. Everybody loves Strokers. All right, one one. <clears throat> so if you guys look on the top table, that's Mike D playing Alex Spoon. And I have to tell you what, man, Alex played fantastic at the end of the day. We were talking about if it, if they would have went straight through yesterday, he caught a gear. He'd have been, even though he's on a one loss side, he was playing really well, but have been a force to rec be reckoned with last night. Absolutely, had a great chance to beat Anthony McLeano Hill Hill and had an unfortunate scratch on the. Uh, I forget what ball that was, six ball or something like that. Hill, hill. Yep, that's what he, he was telling me about that. He said he had a 310 combo where the 10 hung up in the pocket. I don't know if that was on the last game, but that was what he was focused on, too. I believe that was the last game as wow. well. He said it hung up in the jaws, but. All right. Donnie's got one down on a break. Obviously, solo. It looked like Donnie made a good cut on the one and got himself so nice on the two. Donnie's sponsored by Team Mets. He's a Mets player. About to see it. Let's see the work on this stroke. Great about getting through all that traffic. I have a little bit of work to do here. Shouldn't be too difficult, but definitely not what he was planning on. Just saw your comment. That link's not working. Um, right above my comment, Landon and Fox posted a link directly to to um, Shalange. I just shared it. That post that Janine had. Uh, see if that link works. And if that if um, you can't get the Landon Fox's link, let me know, and then I'll I'll go ahead and repost it. A different one. Uh, four on the winner's side. Uh, these two playing Donnie Mills and Tommy and, and Galino and Pat Clover also playing on two tables away for a winner's side. Yeah, Landon, are you able to repost that again if you don't mind the link? Okay. Donnie Mills takes two games in a row. Put up 2 1. Get that first game, five ten combo, and Bonnie came back with two in a row after that.
All right, TK, back up to the table. Got a wide open table to work with, too. Pretty much every ball leads into the other. Nice combo. He didn't just get past the five on the one. Um, he should be able to swing it back around for the for the two ball. It's got a sharp cut. He just got past the five ball. Shot. Yeah, I gotta correct myself. I actually said to Miglino and Cow were playing now. Actually, Cow was playing on the um he's in the nine ball tournament as well, which is going on, on the eight foot tables. I don't have a bracket for that, but um Anthony's over there warming up. I I assume they were playing, but Cow's actually playing over on the nine foot side, on the nine ball side. We had a 64-man tournament over on the eight-foot tables playing nine ball. Um, we were playing nine ball in a spot. So I think they're down to the last ball. Well, we're 16 players over there as well. And Kyle's actually left in both of them. Unfortunately, I don't think we have a bracket on Shalon for that one, though. It was a pretty, pretty busy day yesterday. I'm not sure if they made the bracket, but we do have a board here in person. This other camera here. I want to make sure this one works. All right, good shot. Tommy, that about as good as he could hit that. Perfect speed. Ties it up 2 2. Never back like a past US Open champion. He navigated that very well. Playing a race to seven. 2 2. Down to the final four on the winner's side. We got these two, and then we have Maglino and Kyle Bova coming up next. That'll be our next match. The matchup above on the top table you see there in the background is. Uh, Mike DeLauder against Alex Saputo. Not quite sure what the score is. I'm trying to look over and see the score, but if I get an update on that score, I'll let you guys know. As we are uh, at the end of the day, we'll, we will be wrapping up the case with some regular gear, polos, chalk, gloves, all the good stuff. Uh, and what we're doing with that is we have the donations 
any donation will get you a ticket uh, to go into the draw. So we do pretty much every every big event we have. Net money goes towards the stream, towards commentating the stream to upgrade. Uh, Bobby's made a few good upgrades on a camera and put a whole new program in. I know yesterday we had a couple of who were trying to work, so we do apologize for that. We are working to make it better. I took the uh, one down on a break. And you can see the digital one here. Maybe not. Okay, he's going to push out. It's a good push. I'm sitting, I'm looking at different ways to play a play a safe on this one. He's got the. I'll give it back to him. Up. He went all safe, safe all the way out on that one. Keep that to that to that for Tommy. Should have, a, should have a shot on a one. Getting into the two ball is a different story, but he should, uh, should be able to have a shot on a one. I got a nice little safety battle going on. I'd imagine he's going to roll the, um, just roll the one ball straight up in the corner and come back out for the two in the bottom left. Um, Yeah. If he gets this down, it should be out on this rack. Everything's wide open. So he started to line up with middle cue, went to the bottom, and then he went to the top of the ball. So now he's back to hit it. Middle. I think he's just going to try to stand it right out to the above the two and hit it back down in the bottom left hand corner. Imagine which is a little easier than that. You wanted to. Put a little too much speed on that ball. Yeah, it didn't get no easier for him, that's for sure. No. Get low on that cue ball, Bobby. Oh. 
Oh, we overcut it. Oh. As soon as he hit that, he left that little plug. Yeah, that was a very tough shot. And to try to slow roll it and hold it. Still think he got too much on the six ball. I don't know if he had the shot on the three anyways. Yeah, I don't think so. All right. Bonnie's for sure going to take advantage of this table. Yeah, Tommy's over there shaking his head on that. I mean, he, he wishes he had that shot back. Oh, yeah, like, no doubt. Actually, I think the shot on the one ball is the one he wishes he had back. I think he overhit that a little bit too much, and he wanted to line that up straight and just stop it for the three. But Yeah, he did a little better than he actually thought he did, really. He hit that one ball pure. Yeah, we started off with a little safety bat on the one ball, and then finally... Uh, Open up the table. Looks like Donnie's gonna shouldn't have any issues getting out of here. So we're testing out a new mic, guys, and we, uh, with the mic that I'm using, Bobby turned his off, but can you guys hear music in the background? Just, I'm just curious because uh, the mic that we got is supposed to be, um, it's supposed to cut that background noise out. So Bobby and I were just talking. We're kind of curious to see if it really works. Alright. I'll turn mine on. You guys will probably be able to hear the music in the ba in the background. It's hard for me to tell it so it's really it's loud in here. It's not really turned up that loud, but it's it's right up above us. Thank you. Oh, my food's here, so I'm let you guys have Thank this. You, Part of the upgrade that we're, we're trying to do with the uh, with the donations we're talking about, um, I'm going to go ahead and put that up while they're racking this right now. But Bobby went out and got some new mics and he got a uh, he got this audio box mixer type thing. So we're trying to cut down all that out to give you guys some good clarity. And on the bottom right of that ad, there is uh, some of the giveaways that we're doing. Uh, there's uh, info on the tickets. This is our fifth anniversary tour stop, stop number eight, and we are, our next one is coming back up at the end of July. That ad will be going up. I think I heard Bobby saying uh, at the beginning of the week that's going to be going up for strokers. Uh, probably tomorrow, so keep an eye on that because that one fills up very fast. Uh, all nine-foot tables. It's also where they play the U.S. Uh, AK amateurs. That Florida's own Jason Sherman and Jeannie Seavers won both. Solid break sounded good. I think he has a ball or two down. Bonnie come over and say, What's with this music? We're the nightclub. There's club music going on in here. I, obviously, you guys can't hear, but uh, Donnie just come over and said, what's up with his music? About it. Nice uh, good shot to get that, get that two ball back in between there without, uh, without hitting that seven ball. I'm not sure if he can get up there or not, but say if he pulled off. Oh, man. So the last two shots Tommy's taken, he said, ugh, no. Good sign,
read the memoir. I was thinking for I forgot what game we're playing. I forgot to update that score. That score is actually uh, 3 2, Donnie. Good. Fix that. This is rack number seven. It's a race to seven. You know, that right there, even though he made that look so simple, the way he spun it off of that, off of the rail, because I think the natural line was bringing it right towards the five ball, but the way he killed it off of that rail and shortened the angle was, uh, was a pretty nice shot. I'm not sure. Uh, it's hard to acknowledge how uh, shot that was. Yeah, he hits this one. This one be, looks like he's going to try to set up the draw it down in between and back out. Did he get there? There's two different ways you can play it. That was my first option, cutting it into the bottom left and probably coming back. Well, he hit that a lot of low. I was thinking hit that back from one, two, three rails and shooting the eight in the same corner. It seemed like his tempo was pretty fast on that one. He just kind of got down and snapped it. Let's take a side view so you guys can see how far off the seven ball is off of that rail. Yeah, that's right, James and Daniels. The camera you're looking at here, that's uh it all goes out to James and Daniels. He bought that and left it on Bobby's porch as a donation for the fifth anniversary. So I met him at Jacksonville two weeks ago and I was over here talking with him here. That dude's a solid guy. I like him a lot. He always supports a stream too. So this camera angle is courtesy of him. Oh, Tony. Yes, sir. But out of the last three shots, I think he's had three of the best, that's for sure. Not sure if he got there or not either. Yeah. Hold it back for the 10 in the same pocket. I'd imagine he's probably uh, going to take that maybe the 10 in the side. Or it seems like he likes to hit that draw and let a stroke out. He may come back around for the 10. Mm. Yeah, he did. He stopped it dead. Yep. All right, let's go up 4 2. I'd like to see that score on uh, the table up on the top up there with um, Alec and 
Mike Delotter. I'd like to see what that score. I'm going to see if I can get a heads up on that. I see them both taking turns to break. So they So I think the score has got to be somewhere around 5-2, Mike DeLotter, from uh, somebody just give me what the score was. They obviously don't want to shout it out with those two playing, but I think Mike DeLotter's up 5-2, roughly. Donnie took Anybody's ever in the area of uh, Tampa and Carrollwood, I, I recommend all Bruins. I met, a, I met a bad Bruins yet. <laughs> I do. Uh, I like the, the Lakeland one. I've been here. I've been to both Lakeland and I've been here now. So I have all three Bruins. Food's good. Just had a nice grilled chicken salad. All Brunswick tables. I highly recommend. Yeah, Bobby's over here. Bobby's over here eating a quesadilla. I'm about ready to steal it out of his hand whenever he's not looking. I don't know where Tommy's going, but he just darted. He's darting over towards the front door. And I'm not joking this time. Tommy's literally running out the front door right now. All right, guys. Um, thanks for coming. Yeah, well, I think it. I'm not joking, guys. But uh, Tommy ran out the front door. I, I don't know whether he uh, went to get eye drops or hand powder or what. But in the meantime, we got a good match going on on the top top table. It looks like Alex shooting the uh, ten ball. To, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think to get game three, they're they're playing a race of seven. Oh boy. He dogged it. At least he left the cue ball on the rail, and he's going to leave Mike a tough shot. I believe Mike has to hit this to go onto the hill. On the feature table here, the one um, feature table, we have Donnie Mills and Tommy K. Tommy Kenny, a.k.a. M.I.A. <laughs> All right, good shot, good shot. All right, so I think that puts uh, – I think that puts Mike on the hill. If uh, anybody sees Tommy Kenny driving down Del Mabry Highway. <laughs> If you see him driving down Del Mabry Highway, will you send him back over here? Yeah, he uh, he forgot his cues. Uh, meanwhile, we have Mike Delotter breaking up here on the hill. It is, it is Sunday. Maybe he went to uh, speak to the higher people. All right. Tommy tried to make, he tried to make a get and realized he forgot his key sitting on the table. So here he is. He's back to the table, guys. All right. Tommy K M I A. All right. Oh. Yeah, he's calling a two ball here. Switch on a side angle. I, from the angle, yeah, the angle I'm looking at doesn't look like a two would go, but I think I'd call one off of the two, wouldn't you, Bobby? See, the one went off, yeah. 
Yeah, I didn't know. Yeah, that's... Me either, I'm not quite sure. I thought the... He took advantage of capitalizing. <laughs> Alex, that mic is cutting out for me. Can you, is it, um, I just saw your comment now. I'm not sure when you post that, but is, is this mic still cutting out? Brian Luke, how the heck are you telling me to score whenever you're, you're three and a half hours away? That's pretty good, man. You got some eyes, but. guys back on the main camera let me know if i'm still cutting out because i'll uh we'll make it work for y'all i think that was one i had the one go still cutting let me try to switch this headset and tell me if this is any better All right, is this any better? The only issue with this one is I'm worried about the music. I'm worried about the music cutting us offline. But if this is better, I'll, I'll try to try to use this a little bit more and just try to block it with my hand. Um, <clears throat> so it was a big, uh, that was a big shot that Tommy, where he called the two ball and made the one instead. And it looks like Donnie taking advantage of that and is going to run this out. Got himself a perfect angle to come back down for the 10 and should put this at 5 2. All right, well, he's getting. Yeah, while well, he's getting ready to shoot this in, looks like uh, Mike D finished off Alex Saputo over there. That was the only other match going at the moment on the 10 ball side. We do have a, all the tables full um on the uh, nine ball side they're trying to get that one narrowed down thinned out a little bit so we can get moving and like i said i'd imagine our next game is probably going to be Maglino against uh calbo over here all right thanks guys we have to figure out what's going on with that other mic i appreciate the feedback Buddy Nate Bill in the house. Good morning to you, Nate. Got 56 viewers, guys. I appreciate if you all could like, share. Let's get the get the viewers up. Also, like and subscribe to Bobby's YouTube channel. He's trying to get um, a couple more people to get get on there to get over the thousand people mark. see what Tommy can figure out with a one ball here makes a nice cut what a good shot man that... all right nice. testing this much okay. yeah should uh, be hearing this one pretty clear shouldn't be any static or anything on it let me know
Yeah, yeah. Make sure you put it back. That was a nice touchy little shot. That doesn't fall on a diamond, I don't think. Yeah, that probably doesn't go on a diamond table. I kind of miss these tables, though. You know, probably a little more accepting where you can spin the ball. I know, you, <laughs> yeah. I know you like those tight pockets where you got to hit dead. I, I want to see my opponent still on the <laughs> And trust me, I know how that feels. <laughs> uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. I like to see some oh, good call. This in the side pocket, Bobby. He's I might have to hit the replay. Why? Wow, he's going to the in row, yeah, for sure. Oh, oh this misses it. Yeah, he was. Uh, he was a hundred percent sure that he was going to pick that ball. And I thought he was too. A little burn mark on that five ball by how close he missed that one. <laughs> Nate. I see your comment there, Nate. No comment. I uh, don't really see anything that he could possibly miss on this out. No. If this were high, just maybe a touch of right English. Straight top, it's really all you need. Just leave yourself the angle to get back up table off the seven, which is what he does. Yeah. Come up one row, back to the center of the table, shoot the eight in the bottom right corner. Just make sure he clears the 10 ball. Yeah, we're looking to get on the hill. Yeah. Big game. Fast class. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Got the club music in the daytime. We're ready to roll, Bobby. There we go. <laughs> you dimming the lights before you know it. I'll tell you what, if there's a push-up contest, I might take uh, Donnie on that, too. My man looks like he does some push-ups. Yeah. Definitely. Uh, uh oh uh oh, uh -oh, uh -oh. Uh -oh. Ooh, That's like he, that looks like he's afraid to work out, for sure. Yeah. Got them veins popping. Yeah, especially after push -up. Must not be selling a lot of cars, be doing push ups out in the car lot. <laughs> yeah. Well, hopefully, you got to push start the cars to get them off the parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> I bet he'd like to push this nine ball in right about now, too. He's going to slice it. Oh, yeah. Here. Then cue know. ball possibly four. I was going to say that cue ball is going to go for a ride. Well, two, three, and just barely gets the four. Boom. That was a good, good four rail lag. Yeah. Hey, Tommy Kitty's got his work cut out for him. Here's a very long shot. Luckily, it's not perfectly straight, so he just broke that. Just a nice smooth follow through yeah it's gonna be a test you know he tommy does he just doesn't look comfortable this morning so far plain and yeah, simple for sure this, this is gonna be a tester you know got a little bit of pressure with donnie getting ready to go on the hill and yeah donnie's a, putting heat on him he got a long end in on the rail i mean this is a tester oh for sure Backed up, so he's trying to stop the cue ball. You gonna fire this ball in the hole? Yeah. All right. That's about the fourth time he stood up. Now he wants to make sure he has a. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he knows what a shot this is. It's very important. This is much better. I think he's got a better shot at making it right here. 
you know, after standing up about five times, I think it's time to just take a little st stroll around the table. And yeah, he needs to take a little stroll here. He's in shops. Yeah, he got a chair. Fire it in, or just get down and yeah. roll it in. He's back to firing it in. He's jacked up. Firing the hole. Nice shot. Damn. Nice shot. Look at that. Way to do it. You know, he pulled up five times before he got down. He got people snapping in the background. Very nice yeah, shot way, by to, TK. Way, to, way to pull it together. That's something to take mental notes of, you know, for the for the amateur players that uh you know, if you're not too comfortable, it doesn't matter if you get it four or five times. Don't pull that trigger till you're ready to go. Ooh, all right. We had an UG and a no and a couple of those, and we got a couple of yeses. I think he's ready to go now. I haven't seen that much emotion from Tom in a while. What a big shot that nine ball was. Let's see if he can run with it now. Take that, take that high from that from that uh, game and run with it. Let's see what he can do. You got me feeling like I'm playing now. One ball down, two balls wide open, but not quite sure what he can do with it here. I think he's probably going to have to try to run the, t the cue ball down below the 5'10". Just like that. Oh, I think he's blocked. I think he would uh, obviously like to come right up on the 510 or even leave it down by that bottom row even more so. But I think he, uh, I think he has a nice jump over just a quarter of the five ball. Should be able to get in between that six and three. Oh, let's go from the side camera. All right, so he, I couldn't switch cameras in time, guys, and I didn't want to take it away. But so he jumped it, he hit the three, and he made the nine into the top corner, but he didn't call it. So what they were asking is, um, the only time there's an option for the player um, is on the ten ball only. So. Um, Tommy was asking if he was able to give that back to Donnie since Donnie made the nine. But we're only doing option on 10 ball only. And the reason is to keep the flow going um, with so many players. Not a lot of access to nine foot tables, so we're trying to keep the flow going. But. You know, it looks like he could see about three quarters of the ball. He's going to have to spin it to, if he's trying to make it. All right, he just went all safe on that one. I think he's going to pay for it. Yeah, that wasn't uh, it wasn't one of his best saves. So 
So it looks like Maglino and Kyle are playing already. Uh, fortunately, that's not on the stream table. I thought we may have that one on the stream. spun that in nicely. I sent Bobby over. He's going to go check out to see if uh, Anthony and Kyle, it looks like they're playing right now on the other table. Maybe they're trying to squeeze him in because um, in order to make it work for, since Kyle's in on both tournaments still, um, maybe if we tried to hold him for this table, it would it would screw up the pace of that one. And I guess what we're, main goal is to try to be equal to the players. And so it's, um, nobody's waiting too long to play the next match, but I'm not quite sure what the next game will be. But anyway, we do have a, a good one here, which is 5-3, Donnie over Tommy at the moment. Yeah, so that's the case. Kyle's playing over there, and we, we couldn't hold him off any longer, or else it wouldn't be fair to the other guys have to wait for so long on the 9-foot. But we tried. We'll get you another good match coming up, though, right after this. <laughs> Can't tell if he's trying to cut this into the side or if he's going to... I think he has to cut it aside. Yeah, there you go. All right, Bobby's going to check that mic again with us now. I don't know about y'all, but I'm rooting on a Hill Hill Thriller here. Much a straight in ten ball with the cue ball on, on a rail. My egg on um, pulling within one. Five, four. And again, guys, um, we are doing the raffle. We'll be coming up right around the finals. Uh, right, should be right before the finals, Bobby. Is that when we're doing the raffle? Just before the finals, uh, in between the next match. I'll go ahead and put that info up for you guys. We're doing um, every $5 donation gets a ticket. We're doing, um, I think, one for five. 
I don't have to get it on there, but we have some. Yeah, I'm going to put that up there on the next one now. They're getting ready to start a bit. We've got a bunch of Predator, who's our title sponsor. Some, some Predator gear and cube case, chalk gloves, polos. And again, that goes directly to the stream. Looks like TK put all of his weight into that one. Unfortunately, they need about five more pounds. He's going to try to cut, slice this ball up into that top right. That's where he called that at, in the top right corner. I'll tell you what. At 210. He's lining up to 210. Shot. You just kind of got to act like that 10 ball's not there and just cut the 2 ball straight in the corner, which he did. He made it. All right. Puts him on the hill. Right. Puts him on the hill. It's 6 to 4. TK tried to make a comeback. Put the pressure on him. Donnie responded with a nice uh, combo. Looks like we got Jose Alito against Anthony Fisher on the top top table. Maybe Brian maybe Brian Luke can give us a score from three hours away. Yeah, Scott, if you're talking about uh, TK, he does hop out of his shoes a lot when he shoots. That's the TK leap. This jump shot Joselito has on that top one. What a jump. Man, Dart jumped it right up against that 10 ball. He's been playing out of his mind lately. I know I said it yesterday, but hitting that 699 and under win in uh, Vegas. $1,000 entry. Got himself a nice payday there. Bought, him, bought his wife a nice dinner that night. Ooh, oh my goodness, look at this, Bobby. Look at this, he scratched with a 10 ball inside that pocket. No, that one ball took like a little extra roll right at the end. What are the chances? Are there two balls, three balls, four balls all up at the other end of the table too? That'd be my kind of luck. Guy breaking and not one ball anywhere near that to get on that 10 ball in the pocket. TK says, no worries, I'm too good. I'll run him out anyway. I'd imagine he's probably going to pick him apart until he gets to the 5-10. Anyway, 
I'd imagine he's probably going to pick him apart until he gets to the 510. Oh. Right, hold on. Anyway, hold on, guys. We're looking at a replay. I'd imagine he's probably going to pick him apart until he gets to the 510. I'd imagine he's probably going to pick him apart until he gets to the 510. Oh. All right. All right, so there was a, uh, we were running that replay. There was a, Donnie called a foul on him because he, after he hit the two ball, the, the cue ball come over, swung into the eight and moved it. Um, TK doesn't agree with the call, but we, we ran the replay a few times. And whenever he hit the two, after he hit the two, the cue ball, the stick come over and hit the eight ball, so Donnie called him on it. Donnie of the five five ten and uh close that out. <laughs> 